hello 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 and welcome to day two of my trip to jamaica look at the views this is kingston jamaica's capital city pretty first thing i woke up at 6 30 in the morning to have a call with a friend on the other side of the world because i'm thinking of moving to the other side of the world next my sister had to leave me because she had to go to work so i chased her outside and said bye and i made myself some breakfast some yogurt and some tea and i just had to take a moment and be grateful you all i'm in a new country again experiencing new things and i'm just forever appreciative of it next your girl had to put in some work because i still work online even if it's part-time then i had to quickly get ready and pack because we are taking a trip to montego bay today my sister finished half day of her work and then her friends came and picked us up hi jason hi lucy they came very prepared a whole cool y'all this was no joke somebody say road trip then jason presented me with my own jamaican flag very on brand jamaican gift but i loved it next the road trip started the traffic started but of course he had to stop for tasty patties it was my first time trying a cheese patty which the beef is silent there is beef in a cheese patty cheese taste was a lot more salty than i thought but i still enjoyed it then the rain missed off a fall but we made it on a toll highway to start the drive to montego bay it was about two and a half to three hours for where we were going like nobody convinced you jamaica small eh? we stopped at scotchies to get some festival and this is where they make the jerk jerk like the real jerk like, i never knew this but it's a proper wood to make the jerk it's called pimento and you galvanize all kind of thing then i had tried a scotchies festival with chicken sausage and the combination made bang good oh gosh it tastes good and it was at this point we were at the north side of the island i was just like i can see why people fall in love with jamaica man you get out of the city it's just a vibe don't get me wrong i know jamaica still has its problems but let me tell you the glistening waters experience is not one you all before i tell you all about it though let's take a moment to appreciate this fireman he was doing the most the glistening waters experience is when you take a boat over to this nice lagoon area which is like uniquely set up nature wise to have these bioluminescent things in the water look at this water it is lighting up you jump in in, and when you agitate the water it lights up y'all i felt like a mermaid i felt like i had magic on my hands that is blue stuff from blue algae and i'm swimming and it's blue and i just love it it's just a natural chill experience that i highly recommend to everybody to do when you visit jamaica after we headed to coral cliff for food and to meet a really good friend of mine who's jamaican that lives in montego bay o'neill big up yourself so big up to this live cover band afterwards there was an arcade downstairs so we decided to be kids and gamble away our money in the arcade instead after we finished hitting all the crabby parties we decided to call it the night after 1 a.m air ends day two in jamaica see you on day three